I'm Dr. Sarah Jones, and I'm an assistant professor of elementary education literacy in the School of Teaching and Learning at Illinois State University. In this brief video, I'll share a little about who I am and my research interests. If you'd like to know more, I invite you to reach out to me via email or to connect with me on Twitter. Before joining the School of Teaching and Learning, I was a classroom teacher. My own experiences as an undergraduate elementary education major continue to shape my perspectives on teacher education and preparation. I taught in Washington, D.C. for nearly a decade. I taught fourth through sixth grade English language arts in both elementary and middle school settings in both D.C. public and charter schools. My students were predominantly Black, and my commitments to teaching that is culturally responsive and rooted in social justice are grounded in my experiences working with and in these communities. While teaching, I completed my master's degree in urban and minority education at the University of Maryland. I received my PhD in teaching, learning, and diversity with a concentration in language, literacy, and culture from Vanderbilt University Peabody College. My dissertation entitled Reimagining Reading Motivation as a Collective Critical Endeavor centering the perspectives of black girl readers was the catalyst for my current line of research. I care deeply about understanding how students of the global majority experience classroom literacy learning, develop identities as readers and writers, and thrive in literacy classrooms. My research specifically focuses on adolescent reading motivation. The idea that reading motivation matters for literacy learning is widely accepted by scholars and teachers alike. It makes sense intuitively and generally aligns with teachers' classroom experiences. And yet, ideas about what reading motivation is and what it means to be a motivated reader have tended to center whiteness. Research has privileged perspectives participants, and measures that assume white as normal. As a result, the construct itself, including how it is theorized, defined, and measured, upholds white normative values, such as individualism, competition, and teacher-directed learning. When these ideas are taken up in practice, they become another example of literacy classrooms centering the voices, knowledge, and experiences of white people. By taking a color evasive approach and ignoring the salience of readers' racialized identities and how they perceive, experience, and enact reading motivation, scholars have limited our ability to understand reading motivation for the increasingly diverse students in our classrooms. More specifically, applying these limited views to the reading lives of Black readers has created and perpetuated deficit narratives. My current work seeks to actively resist these deficit-based dominant narratives and present alternatives that are more humanizing and responsive to all students. Through centering the voices and experiences of Black girl readers who have been erased and marginalized in the study of reading motivation, my work pushes back on hegemonic notions of what counts as reading motivation and who are motivated readers. To do this, I ground my work in critical race theory, Black literacy frameworks, and Black girlhood studies. I draw on critical race theory, specifically Dixon and Rousseau Anderson's boundaries of CRT in education, as a tool for explaining why racial inequities exist and persist, resisting dominant orientations, and promoting alternatives. I draw on Black literacy frameworks, such as Muhammad's historically responsive literacies framework and Muhammad and Haddix's Black girls literacies framework to center the literacy practices and motivations of Black readers, which are rooted in a rich historical tradition of Black communities that have persisted in and sustained literacy traditions, even in the face of political and institutional barriers. Finally, I draw on Black girlhood studies, which requires researchers take an asset-based orientation to understanding Black girls and emphasizes eliciting their voices as experts of their own experiences. Research that is theoretically grounded in Black girlhood studies creates language that identifies Black girls' experiences, 
centers those experiences and promotes pedagogical approaches celebrating their brilliance. I identify as a mixed methods researcher, employing both quantitative and qualitative methods to meet the demands of the questions I'm asking. My methods are also aligned to my theoretical commitments. For example, my line of research is directed towards mapping a race reimaged construct of adolescent reading motivation. Race reimaged constructs are traditional constructs that have been reconceptualized to include racially influenced sociocultural perspectives. For theories of reading motivation to be responsive to Black girl readers, their ways of engaging with literacy must be acknowledged within the construct itself. Reconceptualizing reading motivation in this way disrupts hegemony in literacy research, resists perpetuating deficit narratives about Black girl readers, and supports humanizing pedagogies that centers Black girls. One way I have worked towards this is through artifact-elicited interviews. Artifact-elicited interviews use visual, verbal, or written stimuli to encourage participants to talk about their ideas. They're useful for exploring topics that may be difficult to discuss, including abstract concepts like reading motivation. Using artifacts can make the interview more comfortable and reduce power imbalances, support respondents in working together to explore the topic, and more authentically reflect participants' conceptual categories. In these interviews, I used items from prevalent adolescent reading motivation surveys as the artifact, which was provocative, bringing forth tensions between participants' ideas and the survey items, and creating opportunities for agreement and critique within the group. Through this interview technique, the Black girl readers I worked with were able to describe what reading motivation means for them. For example, these Black girl readers expressed reading motivation as being collaborative rather than competitive, meaning-oriented rather than skills-oriented, and liberatory. As this work progresses, I plan to develop and pilot a new methodologically innovative survey instrument. I'll employ a mixed methods design to broaden the conceptualization of what counts as reading motivation by using Q methodology. Q methodology involves asking participants to sort and rank a collection of statements about a topic. Unlike a Likert style survey, which is the predominant instrument style currently used to understand readers' motivations, this method captures the idea that people think about ideas in relation to other ideas rather than in isolation. With a Q sort, respondents have to rank all the choices in relation to the others, therefore making it impossible to simply agree or disagree. For example, through the sorting, participants are not indicating that an idea is not important to them, but rather that something else is more important. Employing Q methodology has the potential to capture the complexities of reading motivation, and it also allows for an expansion of voices and perspectives that are included in the field. In disseminating my work, my goal is to engage with multiple audiences. By engaging with other researchers and scholars through publications and journals such as Reading Research Quarterly, I hope that my work will impact the field in ways that reshape the narratives about not only Black readers, but all readers whose motivations have been seen primarily through a deficit-based lens. By engaging with classroom teachers and practitioners through publications and journals such as The Reading Teacher and Voices from the Middle, I hope that my work will impact classroom practice in ways that help teachers see all readers as motivated and to be able to design literacy instruction and environments that attend to a broader vision of what reading motivation is and can be. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about my work. And again, if you'd like to know more, I invite you to reach out to me via email or to connect with me on Twitter.